Well, Mark, congratulations on your performance and the team's performance again. You've been in a meeting now for some time. What was going on in there? Uh, we just spoke about uh, a little bit of the game um, and just the week going forward. We've got about a nine or ten day break now until Melbourne uh, in Sunday. So, Boris 300th, we just sort of spoke about the week going forward and, uh, yeah, sort of the plan going forward. So much improvement in this group from the beginning of the season to what we're seeing at this point of the season, which is almost the halfway mark of the season. Is there still more to come? Uh, I hope so. I like to think so. Uh, it's a relatively new team uh, this year, what we've sort of the young guys, Darcy Lane, Corey Griggs in the forward line, um, and the few of the boys, Jordan Murdoch, cementing his spot. So we're just trying to, I suppose, uh, play well, get some chemistry together, and it's slowly clicking. So we we're pretty happy with um, most of the parts of the game. We we're able to shut down a few of Port's uh, dangerous players, and um, to that last quarter performance was fantastic from, from a club point of view. And Reece Stanley too, I know got injured tonight, but uh, I don't think I've ever seen him play as well as what he was playing when he was out there tonight. Oh, he was fantastic. Um, he, he competes in the ruck, but, but we expect him um, to be an extra midfielder, just scrap on when it hits the ground, um, scrap. He's, he's so quick, um, one of our quickest on the list. So use his speed, he's a great kick, and to get a couple of goals too, I thought he was fantastic in that first half especially. Well, you were a lethal combination, a pair of you, really. I mean, uh, I don't know that Port really knew who was supposed to be taking the ruck at different times. But then, as you say, once the ball hit the ground, you were both capable of being on the end of it as well. Yeah, it does get a bit confusing, I suppose, for the opposition. Um, a little bit for us, too. We're not sure who's, who's taking the ruck sometimes. But uh, include Josh Walker in that as well. I uh, thought he was fantastic tonight. And just that combination of, I suppose... Um, that running ability as well as being able to compete in the air and on the ground um, is something that we think is a strength and we're working towards improving each week. You're just making this game look a little bit too easy though, Mark. I mean, for somebody who's only been playing for five minutes, what's going on? Oh, I don't know. Just learnt from the best. There's a, there's a heap of uh, experienced long players here, so I'm just trying to pick their brains as much as I can, and uh, I think it's slowly paying off. There's probably steeplechases all over the world saying so <laughs> I want to get in the AFL. This is an easy game to play. Yeah, hey, if they, if they want to try, give it a crack. <laughs> so where do you reckon you're at? 80% uh, of what you're going to become as a player, or do you think it's your, your, your improvement over the last couple of years has probably meant that you're a little bit ahead of that? Uh, I don't know. I'd like to think I've got a lot more improvement uh, in myself, just basic skills to my kicking lets me down sometimes and um, I suppose just my, my knowledge of the game is still relatively new so uh, I'll keep working hard and improving and um, yeah, never, never stop learning so I'll never stop improving I hope. Well done again tonight, it's been great watching you. Thanks Tim, appreciate it. Well done mate. Thanks.